welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about boots. Let's talk about boots because fall is here. I will be sharing uh, some of my favorite type of boots and maybe, uh, you know, I mean fall is coming so I'm sure you'll be on the hunt for that real nice boot of all kinds of price ranges. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So for the first boot, if you're looking for a combat boot that is not very chunky, uh, more of a lace-up boot, um, booty style, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the Naturalizer Cali boot. Okay, it's mid chef leg. Um, as far as price goes, it's pretty reasonable. It's uh, usually ranges between 120 and 170 dollars, um, and um, it's a lace up boot. And the really really neat thing about this boot is that it has an actual zipper here on the side. It has a heel and the front. As you can see, they're dusty. I mean, I use these. Um, and they're dusty because, you know, I've actually worn these in dirt. Can you believe it? Um, they are not super round. They're a little bit pointy in the front. And I really like that. I really like that I can slip onto this boot. I don't have to untie it. And just the best thing is that it's super comfortable. I mean, no surprise, it's made by Naturalizer. Um, but this is such a fantastic boot. Um, they come in several different colors, so check them out. Um, if I see that my videos are getting more views, then I will start actually adding links to the in the description below so that y'all can have somewhere to reference, click on, and check. Um, but for sure, these are the Naturalizer Cali Boot. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Great, great boot. So... On to the next boot. I have my phone here next to me because I want to make sure that I'm giving you all the right information. You know, we're going to keep it booties for right now. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you the Franco Sarto boot, which is this pair here. It's a wedge booty, and this is in the color ivory by Franco Sarto. And I wear an eight and a half. These are true to size. Also, my naturalizers are true to size. FYI, eight and a half. I really love this boot. It's so freaking cute. I got these from Amazon. Um, but the maker is Franco Sarto. True to size, as I mentioned. Very comfortable boot. And they are pointy. I actually have an extra pair of these. I've seen these in um, a different color as well. I believe they come in black. Um, but definitely check these out. This is this is a statement kind of booty. This is a booty where you can uh, maybe add a little rock and roll to it, or maybe you wanna um, you're more maybe wearing something quite conservative and you wanna just add a little oomph. These booties are it. They are in the color ivory. Okay, gotta love it. All right, still within the booty range, we're gonna go ahead and slip into the Sam Edelman booty. Now this booty I came across at Nordstrom Rack um, and I slipped my foot in it and it was super comfy right off the bat. I knew I had to have them. Um, the material is super buttery. They're called the Mariella booty. This booty is very comfortable um, and it's very versatile. Um, I really like the detail of the buttons. It gives it a little bit of a style and also has a zipper on the side. But if you feel these, mm, super buttery, super nice. I just love these. Um, this color, I'm not sure what color. I've seen these in different um, colors. I've, I've seen these in black. I believe these are the Praline or Praline color and um, they go with almost everything and that's something that I like and this is more of a casual booty if I may say um, in the end style it however you desire so let, let's move on to a different kind of boot um, the, the next boots um, that I'm going to be talking about are by Fry um, let's go ahead and get started um, with the Fry Melissa Button 2 Tall Leather Boots. These are quite nice. Okay, 
these I've actually um, I've worn <laughs> I've actually gotten a little mild hike with these on and they worked really well um, I have worn these and um, these are they're I would say from one of five I'll rate them four stars and the only reason for four stars is because they're a little um, hard to get into in this area and I don't know if it's just my feet in general one of my feet actually has a, a I don't know if it's a wider um, ankle but I have a harder time slipping into the boot um, besides that they're very comfortable um, uh, these are not wide these are just regular I don't have a very wide uh, leg um, or calf so that may be something for you to take in consideration. Um, as far as the heel, um, it's pretty sensible. I can't remember what's the heel height, but just by looking at it, it looks like a two, maybe two inch. Um, and it has an almond toe. Um, and um, the detail on the side, it has this button, um, pretty much. Um, and I actually do love these. I pull these when I pull. These are all pull on, by the way. Okay. Um, but for the price, you know, honestly, you could find something very similar for a better or more reasonable price. Um, I had this thing where I wanted to replace a pair of boots that I really enjoyed and I just couldn't find them. So these looked very similar to those boots. For the next boots, this is a Fry Lila Slouch fashion boot by Fry. And I would say that this style is a lot more of me. Um, I just enjoy this boot. It has a more of a pointy toe, but it doesn't cram your little toes in there. If, um, and again, I still have my old, my biggest pet peeve with pull on boots is the fact that I can't get one on my foot in as fast as I could or take them off as fast as I can. Quality, I mean, obviously it's great quality. Um, and, um, these here, they don't have that outer pull, but they have an inner pull, which really helps when you're putting on the boot and you're pulling it on. Um, and, um, they're the, the leather on these are, is a lot more buttery. So this is definitely a lot more, um, uh, smoother and nicer to the touch. Um, as far as price, I got these at a bargain. I got these actually, I don't know if it's eBay or Amazon for like maybe a hundred and so much, whatever. Um, but I'm sure, um, you know, I hope that you're still able to find these. Um, maybe this is the only boot that I would size up. I, I did buy these in eight and a half, but if anything, maybe I'll go, I'll, if, if, if I would go back, I would search for a nine. Um, and the only reason, again, is just because of the factor with my ankle. Um, overall, they're very comfortable. So there you guys have it. Those are my favorite boots and booties as of right now. I have a lot more boots, but these are the ones that I actually got to wear in the past, I wouldn't say few months, right, because it's been hot, but the last that I can remember, um, uh, as far as that I wore the most, because it's comfortable, I, I enjoy a comfortable shoe, whether it's a boot, booty, or heel. For the booties, I've been wearing those. Um, those are very comfortable. I can actually say that those I can repurchase um, and I will have no guilt feelings about repurchasing any of the boots. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to be as informative and, and, and really provide information that's going to help you make decisions when spending your money wisely. Um, it's very important, especially during this COVID time. I know everyone is in a different place, whether it's mentally or financially, um, uh, so I really wanted to keep that in mind because if you're going to blow some cheese on some boots, then you should be able to know a little bit more about what you're getting. All right, you guys, remember that I love you. Stay safe. Take care and thanks for watching.